Hi, I'm Alex, and I reconstructed my entire room so that I can import it into VR and do some cool stuff, like jump onto my sofa without a care in the world because I know exactly where it is and I can see where it is. I'm not going to like jump into nothingness. I can sit down on my sofa and just relax and gaze at a beautiful view that I wouldn't be able to see otherwise. And loads of other cool little things, and I want to show how I did this and how you can too. Firstly, what I did is took loads of pictures of my room from all of these different like positions in the room and from each of those positions I took pictures from lots of different angles. To create the model I then used Colmap and I'll explain why I use Colmap later. So Colmap firstly calculates the different positions of these images so it works out where is this image relative to this image and this image. Once Colmap has calculated the relative position of all these images it can then create a 3D model of this scene and then I can import this into VR and it's not going to be that easy. I can import this into VR, but it's going to be completely in the wrong place. It's going to be the wrong scale and it just isn't going to work. So why is this? Well, Comap calculates the position relative of each of the images, but it doesn't know the scale and it doesn't know where these images are going to be relative to where VR is. VR could be anywhere in the world for all that Comap knows. So how can we solve this? One way is to meticulously um, position the model as well as use some me real world measurements in order to scale the model correctly. But there's there should be an automatic way of doing this and that's what I set out to create. So my VR headset has cameras on it, can't I use those to reconstruct? And then also my VR headset knows exactly where it is in 3D space, which is exactly what I want to have. But this isn't perfect either. The big limitation of using the VR headset is that it's not a camera, it's not designed to be a camera, and so will never function as well as a camera as an actual camera. Even my phone will do a much better job than my VR headset. And so, because the cameras aren't as high quality, the reconstructions aren't created from these pictures are not going to be as high quality either. So we now have the low quality images from the VR headset that know where they are in VR space, and the high quality images from this other camera, but we don't know where they are in VR, in VR space. So we want to apply this, this positional data onto these high quality images. So in order to do this, we use Colmap, again, our reconstruction algorithm, to work out where the low quality images are and the high quality images are in 3D space. We can then apply the positional data of the low quality images to the high quality images as we know where they are relative to each other. Now that we have that, we have the high quality images in perfect VR space and they can be perfectly imported for use in VR applications. And here we go. We can now do everything we wanted to do and we still don't have color, so we're going to have to deal with that now. Colmap outputs .poy files, whereas game rendering engines such as Unity or Unreal requires other formats such as .obg. .poy stores the color information within the same file as the overall 3D model. This is different to .obg, where it requires a separate texture image file. To solve this, I use MeshLab to take the color information from the .poy file, and put that into an image file that we will use as a texture in the 3D rendering applications. We can then export this as a .obg with this PNG as this image file, and now we can import this perfectly in color to our 3D rendering algorithms. Now there are some issues with this. For some reason, I get these weird um, triangles with completely wrong color and if anyone knows exactly why this is happening um, please tell me because I have zero idea. Now we have our model perfectly imported into our game rendering engine of choice. Now it does sound a bit weird for VR. I mean VR you can go anywhere and then you go decide to go back to the room that you were before you put on VR but there is something great about it. I mean obviously this isn't static you can take away your walls that you were seeing before and import another scene. This was a scene that I just downloaded from online and now I can just gaze off to this beautiful scene and relax down on my sofa. I think that the limitations that this removes is great. I mean, this could be anything. This model can also become more interactable. There have been examples of people using their 3D reconstructions in order to create a game within their own apartment or using any flat surface within their apartment as a touchscreen, so you're not limited by what used to be there. If you wanted to edit your model more or have a more stylized model of your room, you could 
take this model as reference, import it into Blender, and then start building on top of it so that you can then have a very clean looking model of your room. I'm not the best 3D modeler out there, but there are some tutorials out there if you wanted to go down this route. There are some applications of this that aren't quite possible at the moment. I want to be able to import this and use this as an overlay on top of other apps. I think that like whizzing around the world from my sofa in Google Earth VR would be amazing, but isn't quite an option yet. Also being able to use this as a like fade in, fade out chaperone would be great, especially for newcomers, you know, exactly seeing exactly how your room looks from inside VR would be great. This is an open issue on the OpenVR GitHub page. So if they manage to import this and enable this again, that would be great. Overall, I really implore more people to try this. I think it's great and I really hope more people do. I have my code in the description along with some more instructions on how to use it. If this works out for you, do tell me. I'll be really interested to hear. And if it doesn't work, please tell me and I'll be more than happy to help. I stream Monday to Friday on Twitch. So if you want to check that out, I'll be streaming my game development. Um, you might have also heard there's some buttons down there you can press. You know, the like, the dislike, the, the, the subscribe. There's even the bell. You might have heard of the bell. You could press them. Comment below about any suggestions. And thanks for watching. See you next time.